Hello everyone. Today let's learn how to find missing data when the mean is given. So in this example here is the class interval column. Here is the frequency column. Now the mean is given as 29. The sum of frequencies is 50. We have to find these two missing frequencies A and B. So how do we find that? Well because the mean of the data is given we will be using the mean formula to find the values of A and B. And here is the mean formula. We already know that sigma xifi divided by sigma fi. But in order to use this formula, we need to find a few columns. So the first column is this xi column. Now what is this xi? So xi is the class mark which is the middle value of every class interval. So you can calculate by just adding the lower limit with the upper limit and divide by 2. So here for the first class interval, what will it be? 0 plus 10 which is 10 divided by 2 which is 5. That's it friends. It's very easy. We got our first class mark. So just repeat the process and you will get the class marks for all the class intervals but there is an even easier way friends what you do is once you find the first class mark just add to it the class size and you will automatically get the next class mark now what is the class size well any class interval you take just subtract the upper limit and the lower limit say suppose 30 to 40 just do 40 minus 30 which is 10 so the class size is going to be 10 so just add it to the class mark so 5 plus 10 15 c this is the next class mark and just need to repeat the process we'll get 25 35 so in this way you can get all the class marks i hope you got this friends now let's have a look at the formula it's written xi into fi which means i need another column so by looking at the formula we'll know what is the next column which is xi into fi just need to multiply the xi fi for every class interval friends so let's do that 8 fives are 40 we'll get over here now 15 into a is 15 a which is a variable so what you do is just write a little bit to the side friends over here okay i'll let you know the reason later just write it like this now 25 into 12 is nothing but 300 just write it one below the other these numbers okay 35 into b it's 35b write it little bit to the side uh, 45 into 4 yes you'll get 180 this is 330 and that's it now again look at the formula you need sigma xifi so what is sigma yes sigma is the greek letter for summation so we need to add all the xifi values so let's do that so because there are variable friends first you add only these numbers and that's why we wrote the numbers to one side so that you don't confuse and end up adding 40 and 15a right so first add the numbers so here we'll get 850 now you add the variables which is 15a and 35b now remember friends they are all unlike terms so we really can't simplify this any further so just leave it like that now again look at the formula we need sigma fi but that's already given to us right sum of frequencies is 50 now we also know the mean so let's go ahead and substitute all these values so x bar which is mean is nothing but 29 equal to sigma xi fi is yes 850 plus 15a just carefully substitute divided by summation fi is 50 now it's just little bit of algebra just bring the 50 to the other side you'll get 29 into 50 just write the terms here as it is well here you'll get 1450 which is equal to this term will be as it is just bring the numbers to one side friends so when you bring 850 to the other side 1450 minus 850 will give me 600 yes this will be 15a plus 35b just leave it like that this is our first equation now in case you're asked to find only one missing frequency then you will have only one variable and this one equation is enough for you to find the value of the missing frequency but here you have two variables and there is only one equation which means we need to find another equation now where do we get that well it's right over here it's given to us that the sum of the frequencies is 50 but we can also find the sum of the frequencies by adding all these frequency values so let's do that when you add all this first add the numbers again be careful so you will get 30 
plus a plus b. So this is nothing but sigma fi. So 30 plus a plus b is going to be nothing but 50 because both are the sum of the frequencies. So just bring all the numbers to one side. You will get a plus b as 20. Let's write a as 20 minus b. Okay. Now this we'll call as equation 2. So now instead of a can we substitute 20 minus b in equation 1? Definitely we can do that. So let's substitute equation 2 in 1. So we'll get 600 equal to 15 times. Instead of a I'm going to write 20 minus b plus 35b. That's it friends. Now it's very easy. We have only one variable. So let's solve that. So let's just open up this brackets over here. We'll get 300 minus 15b. Okay, this is just algebra. Let me bring the 300 to the other side. Now, whereas these are like terms. So 35 minus 15b will give me 20b. I hope you're getting all the steps friends. So now 600 minus 300 is 300 which is 20b which means b is yes. So what is the value of b? 50. That's right. So we easily got the value of b. Now just substitute this value of b over here. See so a is 20 minus b which is nothing but 15. So a value is 5. So this is how you find all the missing frequencies when the mean of the data is given. So friends, I hope that you found this video helpful. If so, do like and share the video. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.